everybody. Um, this is Melinda Sims Art again, here with a new video for you about how to paint a water bottle, specifically if you have something like a, a hydro flask or an off-brand one like what I have. I have the um, Thermo Flask from Costco. They usually come in two packs. Um, mine was originally white, but then you're going to see how I paint it in the citrus fruit. Heads up! Um, there were some technical difficulties during filming this video. <laughs> Number one, I did not get all of the process. I did get the major steps in the process, but um, I was just painting away. Didn't realize that my card was full from the <laughs> from the videos before. So um, you might miss some things like when I started adding details and things like that to this. So if that's the case and you have some questions about that, please let me know. Um, in the comments below, preferably. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope that you are spreading joy and making art during this time.
so we've got this beautiful little water bottle now and uh, a few tips and tricks that I learned through this process. Number one, um, don't get too close like with your varnish if you're using the spray varnish because it will like create little droplets. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. So I have a few parts where it's like a little bit tinted, um, things like that. Have a good vision of what you want. I knew that I wanted mine a little bit more like cartoony, but not really. Like somewhere in the middle of like realism and something a little cutesy, cartoony. Um, plus I usually put like citrus fruit in my waters sometimes, just the juice of like a lemon or a lime, just to make myself drink more water. I'm really bad about that. Do as I say, not as I do. Drink a lot of water. It's good for you. Anyway. <laughs> So be sure that you are keeping the spray bottle away from the water bottle. Um, I think it's about 12 inches. That's right. Read the back of the can, read the directions. And um, there were only certain spots where I kind of forgot to do that. Um, and it kind of shows. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, you might have noticed when I was taking off the tape that there's this film. So you can take that off with um, acetone. Uh, be sure you wash it really well after you take it off with acetone or something like that. Or you can just use like uh, steel wool or anything like that. Soap and water should do it. Dish soap though. Um, you need something that would cut like the stickiness or something that also cuts oils usually. Um, so use that. Hand soap usually is a little too soft to get things like that off. I think that's it. If you have qu questions, again, excuse me, if you have questions comment down below um, and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to my channel and I will try to post every week sometimes twice a week usually it'll be every Wednesday though during this time so again I hope that you are spreading joy and you are making art and this little video brought you a little bit more joy to your day till next time